There is heartbreak in Provo tonight after two children, siblings, were killed in an auto pedestrian crash this morning. The driver that hit them was also killed. New specialist Lad Egan is live from the scene now. Lad, this is just a terrible tragedy here. Yeah, a horrible situation. The neighborhood bystander stood in shock today, and we know that a school is in mourning that a brother and sister were hit and killed intersection 700 north 800 east the car that hit them then traveled through this front yard you can see it scraped up against shimmy there then traveling through two driveways hitting a car in one of those driveways and then smacking into the porch of that next home all rupturing a gas line I heard a series of crashes, and then I felt the car hit our house. Sabrina Pendleton ran outside just after 8 this morning to find this crashed SUV, a ruptured gas line, and the driver unconscious. Tried getting him to wake up, shouting at him. I'm trained in CPR, so I tried getting him out of the car to do CPR, but he was too big for me to get out of the car. She went to get help. That's when she discovered that the SUV had just hit a brother and sister on their way to school. I ran down the street a little bit and saw the two kids laying in the street and people performing CPR on them. First responders soon arrived and took over as neighbors watched heartbroken. It was a lot of intense emotions because we knew that these kids and this gentleman were probably not going to make it. Police say the SUV crossed into oncoming lanes and then up onto the sidewalk, hitting the nine-year-old girl and 10-year-old boy. The siblings and the driver were pronounced dead at the hospital. We extend our sincere and deep condolences to a family who is deeply impacted and devastated by the loss of children and to another family that's lost an adult member. Uh, the school's shocked. It's a hard thing to, to come to work or come to school in here. The brother and sister attended Wasatch Elementary, where grief counselors are available for students and their families. If you need help, come get it. We're, we're here to help and, and give the services that anybody needs right now. Uh, this loss of life, it's right here in Provo, and we feel it, and we feel for these impacted families. The driver identified as 59-year-old Darren Albertson of Provo. Police don't know why his SUV went up onto the sidewalk. They say it's under very careful investigation. Dini, uh, just a heartbreaking situation here, especially for the family and those classmates. Uh, GoFundMe has been set up to help with funeral arrangements. Back to you. Yeah, it's hard to say any more than that. It's just a heartbreak. Lad, thank you.